there is a new plugin for Figma coming that is going to design what you tell it. Scary, right? Well, let's take a look at it real quick. Well, that's a rather unimpressive one, right? This one is a lot more complex, but it still looks pretty ugly and not really that user-friendly. And of course, you can use iteration and you can tell the app what to do with it next, like to add another button or to move it in a different spot or to change the color. But it will take a while before you get into a design that works and I think it's even faster to still do it manually. Now, I know what you might be thinking, we're fucked as designers. Now, any marketing noob can just type in, make me an Uber for cats and boom, a new app design is created. Well, not so fast. While it's certainly quite impressive, this app doesn't solve the main problem that designers are here to solve. What the plugin does is the manual work of moving rectangles and different shapes all around the canvas. And while I often joke that design is basically just moving rectangles around based on some simple research, the moving part is not really that important. Because what design really is, is how you use those simple shapes and objects to solve a problem. But wait, there is more. This is why it doesn't matter if you use Figma or Sketch or any other design tool to solve your problem. Of course, they do differ in how you move those rectangles, their interfaces are slightly different, they have different feature sets, but you can create an amazing product in either one of these tools and in many others. So is this plugin going to be useful? Well, we're waiting. I believe it's going to be useful for people with disabilities and especially when they add speech to text, when people can just speak and then the design gets created and iterate on it that way. It's gonna enable a lot of people who can't use our traditional setup of mouse and keyboard to design. And that is a great thing. But I know what your greatest fear is. You're wondering if this app or this plugin is going to replace you and now the marketing people will be able to simply just type into a box and get a design. What do you think? Because my answer is a big, big no. Because to be a designer is not just a skill of moving some rectangles. You need to understand where to move them, why you're moving them, what are the patterns, what are the reading patterns or scanning patterns of users, what users know, what users don't know, and a lot of other factors. So you need to be a curious person that's really invested into understanding design. So no, this is not a replacement for a designer. This is a replacement for mouse and keyboard as input tools. Because yes, most of us use a mouse and a keyboard to design. And now some people who are unable for whatever reason to use a mouse and a keyboard will be able to also contribute to the design world. And that kind of inclusivity I think is amazing and we should be going that way. But in either case, you still need to know how to design. You still need to understand what problems you're solving. And it doesn't really matter if you use the mouse and keyboard or you type into the box. You need to be a designer to design. Thanks, Captain Obvious. So no worries, you're safe. And as always, have a beautiful day. Uh -huh.